<laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Playing around a little bit there in the intro here. Welcome back. This is Eric with the Guitar Arsenal. Just toying around a little bit here. And we're going to be checking out uh, another Vintage Nobles effect. I've been trying to uh, sort of round out my uh, Nobles collection. And this is the Digital Chorus, the uh, CHD, which is their, you know, obviously that model stands for Digital Stereo Chorus. And um, this is one of Noble's older designs that not quite as many people are in, are in love with this particular pedal. In fact, if, if you go on, um, you know, different forums and stuff and you read about this pedal, some people are like, oh, this thing sucks. It's the worst pedal ever. It's the worst chorus pedal ever made. It sounds like garbage. So in the intro there, I recorded this just outlandish ditty using a chorus pedal and a tube driver and getting a little bit of crazy drive. Guys, I'm not a rock guitarist, okay? I don't consider myself a rock player, but I was trying to kind of get a little grindy there in the intro because it just kind of calls for that. Anytime you got a crazy riff with some chorus in it, I don't know, in my mind, you just kind of got to go for it, right? So that's what we did, and hopefully it sounded okay for you. We're going to go over some of the sounds. We're running through a 1968 um, Fender Super Reverb. This is a 72 Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top. Let's give it a listen. Rhythm pickup. I did have a crazy delay. I, I purposely set my delay a little bit on the silly side just to give those notes a little air and hopefully give it some, some kind of cool sounding stuff there in the intro. Um, here's just the uh, super reverb. Very spanky. Okay, you get the idea. Let's hear the uh, stereo chorus. This is the sound that we use for the intro. We are running off of a nine volt battery because the power supply is acting up on this one. It was making some really weird noises. So we're running off of a battery. Actually, for the intro, I had this thing going pretty fast, about like this. So the intro riff, we had this kind of. <laughs> Very cool. So you have three different modes, a speed, intensity, resonance, and effect level. The higher you turn this up, the more pronounced the effect is overall. The resonance really can get it into silly territory. Let's crank that up and leave the setting where it's at. This will give it a very different sound. Very, very different type of sound that you would expect. It is a digital chorus, not an analog chorus. Let's go to setting two. They all have different, slightly, uh, slightly different profiles to them. You got a flashing LED that lets you know what the speed is. We can crank that up faster if we want. Turn the intensity down. Let's get the resonance back down. Get back on mode one. Well, we'll go down to mode four and then work our way back. I think it's got a really, you know, nice sound. It's a little kind of cold and harsh sounding compared to like an analog, you know, it's not quite as warm 
But if that's not what you're looking for, if you want that sort of modern spanky kind of uh, chorus sound, it can definitely get that in strides. <laughs> sort of thing or whatever. All right, go through the mode. Mode three. That's a very nice chorus sound. If you know, you can really set this thing up all the way from crazy all the way to simple. And, um, you know, I've never been a humongous fan of chorus pedals, not enough to let one really level my board or whatever, but um, not terrible. Very pretty, if I can do my part on the playing. All right, sound two, and then we'll manipulate the knobs a little more. All right, that's got a little more movement to it. Sorry, I get a little adventurous on the playing, guys. Hope you don't mind me making a little racket here. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I don't know what people are talking about. I like it. Intensity up, the speed a little more subtle. I love how it's got that LED where you can really see, you know, the speed that's going on. That's a really handy feature. Again, with a lot of these Vintage Nobles pedals, the enclosures leave a little bit to be desired. Well, not the enclosures themselves, but the way the jacks are mounted in the enclosures. Um, I always like to show anytime we're doing one, a video on a Vintage Nobles, uh, the guys at Analog Man will rebox these old Nobles pedals for you in a true bypass uh, switch, along with Switchcraft jacks, really good quality components. This is a Nobles um, Overdrive Special, also, uh, and I also have an Overdrive Special that's in the, uh, the original uh, box as well, but you can get them reboxed if you get one that has the switches a little crackly, don't worry. These pedals can actually be had for a very respectable sum of money, not very expensive at all. Um, this pedal was like 50 bucks. So I've been trying to review stuff that is obtainable and a little bit lower on the cost spectrum, but still loaded with some really great features. You have a remote jack, okay, 9 volt power, in and out, really cool stuff. I guess you have to run a stereo cable to get the stereo effect. 
Um, that's one thing we're not really doing here. It says it's a stereo course. It does not have multiple outputs. So I'm assuming that uh, you'd have to run some form of a stereo cable. All right, um, let's see how this sounds. We got a little bit slower. <laughs> that um makes me sick. <laughs> I think it's got some really useful sounds. People can say what they want. I mean, uh, on the forums, people tra uh, trash talk these pedals, but really, in my mind, I think it's got some useful sounds if you're willing to dig. You know, you do have some flexibility. I think it's a really cool unit, and I really like Nubbles pedals. They're German engineered, Korean produced, but excellent quality. I really, really love these pedals a lot. Uh, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Um, I was just trying to noodle around, give you some idea of the type of sounds that these pedals can get. Um, you know, we've been experimenting with the drum machine. Uh, hopefully it's not too cheesy there in the intro. That's the uh, Digitech uh, strum pedal. We'll do a review on that pedal in the future once I, I get my way around it a little bit better. I'm still learning it a bit. It's got quite a few bells and whistles, which is a little outside of the wheelhouse that I'm normally, I'm a simple pedal kind of guy. I like basic stuff. And then we run in that with the Ditto uh, Looper 2X from TC Electronic to create our loops there in the intro. Um, this has been the Vintage Stereo Chorus from Nobles. Great unit. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, we post every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Signal. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you click that notification bell so that you're getting our videos if you dare. All right, guys. A couple of more pretty chords. I'll let you guys get on, on your way here. Something airy here. Let's see.